Why didn't you come? Where have you been for the past two months? We did come. One night early. That was our mistake. What have you done to Max? Shut up. You can't just- Shut up! This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. <clears throat> Name. Laura Kearney. Who are you traveling with? And what is your relationship? Max Brindley, he's my boyfriend. Where were you headed last night? To Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. You already know this. What have you done with Max? No. I ask, you answer. That's how this works. Well, I'm not saying shit until you tell me where Max is. Is that so? You can't keep us here. I know what this is. This is an illegal detainment. They are waiting for us at Hackett's Quarry, and pretty soon they're gonna figure out we're missing. I want a lawyer. You finished? Okay, Sheriff. Hack it. Wait, hack it? Like, Chris hack it? Don't change the subject. What the fuck is going on here, man? You have no idea what's going on here. Not a goddamn clue. You just stepped in some grade A double prime, go ahead and kill yourself cosmic type shit, young lady. And your only option is to buckle the fuck up and do what I say. 
Do you understand? Please, will you just stop fucking around with me and tell me what the fuck is going on? What the hell attacked us last night and why did you arrest us, you goddamn maniac? Take me to Max! Break right now! What? Don't you try that shit with me. Hey! Hey! You! Asshole! Wanna tell us what the fuck's going on? Max! I know you hear me! Okay? Yeah. I mean, I'm... I'm kind of all mixed up, but... More or less intact, I think. Laura? Yeah? Why am I naked? What? I mean, after we got attacked... The next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell and you're gone. And now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood and stuff everywhere. I mean, what the fuck happened? Yeah, so our host was very keen on getting me to confess, but I honestly couldn't tell you what I was meant to be owning up to. Jesus. What he used to try to get you to talk? The pincher? The blade? Three-hole punch? No, it... He wasn't torturing me. Who does this guy think he is? Well, Sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Max! What? Did you even look at the map? Hackett's Quarry in North Kill. That's the town. Oh. And it gets better. I gotta look at his name badge, and... Get dressed. What's he giving you? I'm not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each other? I wasn't aware we needed your permission, Detective Dick Whippet. <laughs> yeah, it's a free country, Officer Oat. For brains. Shit. All right, buddy. Hands through the bars. Come on. Your turn. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey! Hey! Get the go? fuck off! Come on. Move. Good boy. Hey! Stop struggling. Max, calm down. You're only making up worse. Laura. What the hell did you do to her? Shut up. Okay. Okay. Think, Laura, think. 
There's got to be something in here you can use. While the town of North Kill lay there sleeping, the hag in the woods started weeping. As the bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey, and the sheriff continues his creeping. Ew. Spoon? Not a chance. I need some sort of lever. Watch it, man. I bruise easily. Give me a break. Hey, the second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. Sure. Second you get out. Wait, wait, well... Answer your questions. You just can't lock us up in here with no goddamn explanation and expect us to be all butter and cupcakes, okay? Just work with us here. You have nothing to bargain with. Come on. Come on! <laughs> hey, you can't just leave us in here! Hey! Come back! Fuck! Some pinky bucky. Are you okay? It's just a foot. It'll heal. I meant the interrogation. Oh. Yeah. Can't break old Max. Many have tried, many have failed. I'm being serious, Max. He, uh... He just asked a lot of questions. A lot of weirdly specific questions about us and... where we were going and why and how I was feeling this morning and... I don't know. Nothing I said made him seem any less annoyed. He asked how you were feeling? Yeah. Why, he didn't ask you? No. Huh. Rude. Oh, hey, did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whippet? It's Hackett. 
Sheriff Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my God, like the Chris Hackett? Yeah. Who's the Chris Hackett? As in camp leader, Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? Man. Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean though? You know? Where we set up? Maybe it's some kind of crazy camp counselor kidnapping ring. That's... I mean... What? Well, I guess Sheriff Hackett's not exactly acting like a typical kidnapper, but he's not acting like a typical cop either. Well, how do you know how kidnappers act? I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. I don't know. What if we can't make sense of it? What? Well, you we have to. Sometimes things just don't make sense. What then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? This isn't forever, Max. You, you can't just hold us here forever. You didn't seem too convinced of that. You gotta stay positive. You can't think like that. Why not? Might as well just accept it, right? No, fuck that! Think about the rest of the summer, Max. And school? I mean, I've been dreaming about becoming a vet since I was five years old. I'm not gonna let this fleabag fuckface stop me. We're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna study to be a vet, and you're... gonna, um... What? I'm gonna what? I saw the letter, Max. What are you talking about? The rejection letter for college. I found it in your bag. You were poking around in my stuff? I can't believe you didn't tell me. I was embarrassed. Wait, your grades were good and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. Fuck! You've been making plans, Max, what the fuck? I don't know, what do you want me to say? I'm sorry, Max. This... this really sucks. Hey, it's not the worst thing to happen this summer. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have kept it from you. You know you can talk to me about anything, right? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Okay, let's just focus on getting out of here for now. Great, sign me up. We need to go over it from the beginning. Like from when we left home? Like from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into the... Whatever we ran into? Yeah. Actually, yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. The dude acted super weird when we said we almost hit an animal, you remember that? It was like he already knew or something. Yeah. Yeah, that was really sketchy. What if he's not even a real cop? Well, he's gotta be dirty, but... I mean, I think he's a real cop. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, but there's like... nobody else around. Yeah, that is concerning. Especially the whole hack it hack it thing. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead, there's nobody there, and we get attacked by something, and then the cop shows up. That part's all fuzzy for me. Like, I, I remember the steps and a smell like wet fur and a 
A dog collar with the name Ian on it? Ian? Ian. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was, was big. Like, person-sized big. Yeah, it really did a number on you. Like, I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like, like, like I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping into you. What is messed up about that is... Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. What? Hey, okay, so weird question. Do you remember... before we got lost? You got lost? Well, yeah, but before that, I was all like, whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods, and you were all like, yeah, no shit, Max, it happens once a month? Yeah, so? Right, so, you know, full moon. Yeah? What if, uh... Okay, no, stop. I'm just saying, you know, maybe there's a slight chance... It was a werewolf. Are you out of your- Goddamn mine? Werewolves? Seriously? What the fuck? Werewolves? Seriously? What the fuck? What? 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 What's so funny? I said literally the exact same thing. Okay. Do you, you got anything better? I mean, like, zombies? Aliens? Time hopping Draculas. Ryan, right? Yeah. You want answers? I've got answers. Interrupt me again, you're on your own. <laughs> Whatever. Would it really be so crazy? With all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick? With the thing on the roof? Okay, we really start to explain a lot of stuff. Dylan. I'm just trying to keep an open mind, okay? This is like your ghost stories. How is this so different from your ghost those, stories? Those are, those are just campfire stories. Like, there has to be a rational explanation for everything, for all of this. Okay, you were not talking so rational when you separated my hand from the rest of my body. You told me to. And if it's... Bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. What? He did the right thing. See? He's got a whole poem about it. There's more to all this than you think. Just let me finish, and you can decide for yourself if you believe me or not. I don't care. But I think you should hear all of it. The next few weeks were long. The cop kept us fed and let us take showers, but aside from that, we barely saw him. Max and I, we talked a lot, as much as we could about what happened that night. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement, what happened to Max, we just kept going over it all again and again, and nothing was making sense. All we knew is that we needed to get out of there. I can't take this anymore. It's not that bad. They're probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well, that part's pretty tough. We've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. We need a, p a plan. We keep saying that, but it's been weeks, so, you know, let me know if you have one. That's really not very helpful, Max. You are forgetting something. What? Just the ETBT. Tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. Just keep it down. So what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when 
I turn into a nasty ass monster and kill you and eat you, and then I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth? Okay, okay, stop. Just one problem at a time. All right, we, we don't even know if that's what's really going on, and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. What, so he'll let us go? Or we try to catch him off guard and make our escape. Okay, so let's say we get on his good side. What then? Brunch in mimosas every Sunday till he sees the error of his ways? Yeah, I was being rhetorical. The dude doesn't have a good side to get on. I mean, he don't even talk to us half the time. I don't know. I think we could crack him. Laura, I think he's just biding his time until he can figure out a way to get rid of us. Permanently. <sighs> You're right. Escape's the only way. Hey, what's he gonna do to us that's any worse if we get caught, right? Let's just... not get caught. Deal? Yeah. Deal. Okay. Here's how it's gonna go down. Next time he opens your cell to take you to get washed up, you jump him. You tackle him down and... Take the keys from his belt, drag him into your cell, lock him in there, unlock my cell, and then we'll steal his car and just drive right the fuck out of Dodge. Right, okay, that's not really a plan though, you know? That's just kind of saying let's escape, but with a whole lot more words. No, he won't be expecting it. We're in a routine now, we'll catch him in the back foot. Careful. Really? Careful. Ah, 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 ah. Really? Genius. But what about my shower? Shit. I said... Take your fucking clothes off! Fuck off! Get back! Max, what's going on? <laughs> Get the fuck away from him! Come here. Get off of me! Shut up. Have a seat. Stop! Quit squirming. Said you want to be a vet, right? Call us an internship. Let me go! You're not gonna believe it until you see it for yourself. Just fucking ask next time then, dude. Jeez. Don't get too close. T, come in. What's your position? Over. Shit. Mm-hmm. Just wrapping things up here. Help! Hey, he's got his whole prisoner at the police station! Help us! Who was that? Over. Nothing. On my way. Over. That was pretty stupid. Hey, you can't just leave me here! Yes, I can.
Max, tell me exactly what you're feeling. Laura, I... I don't feel so good. Not good like how? I don't know, just... bad. Come closer, let me see your eyes. I think I better stay back. Max, I need to observe you. Is this fucking close enough for you, bitch? So much for depth perception. Let's see what that bastard cop's hiding. What's he hiding? to rest soon.
Whoever was wearing this cap, you're doing too well. This must be what he used to knock me out. I can hide this in my cell. July 7th? I need to lie down. Mama's boy. Fifty six. That means he was born in nineteen sixty five. What are you hiding, Travis? Anne Radcliffe and Edward Benson. Wonder who they are. Hello? 
Not so much a hint as a slap in the face. Fuck yeah. at all but ghost hunters who went in search of answers and fell victim to the mercy of the hag of Hackett's quarry, never to be seen again. Like us. Except for the fell victim to the mercy of the blah 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 part. We're, we're more like um, ghost investigators. Spectre sleuths? Sure. So, what happened next? Well, according to reports from the local paper, the North Kill Gazette, some hay bales caught fire during the opening night, and that spread pretty quickly. Before they knew it, the whole place was up in smoke, including the show's leading lady and her alleged baby I have exhausted this and myself. I need to sleep. Locked. Figures. And I guess I can't leave Max. Better keep snooping, or I could go back to my cell and wait, I guess. You want to tell me what happened? I could ask you the same thing. Why didn't you run? I won't leave Max. This doesn't mean I trust you. I don't care. I just want to help him. Turn around, hands against the wall. Seriously? I am too tired to argue. But... Ugh. Me too.
Happy? I'll brew some coffee. What's this? An education. Watch. <laughs> nice job cleaning up. The eye. I mean... It's harder than they make out in the textbooks. Especially when nobody's helping you. You're the doctor. Uh, animal doctor. And no, I'm not. And I probably never will be. Stuck in here forever. You know... Just because you know, doesn't mean you know. You know? Uh... What? I'm not. This isn't what it seems to be. You're gonna have to be more specific. You and Max are in just as much trouble as I am. My family, we didn't mean to hurt anybody. We're just trying to survive like everybody else. Do you understand? Not really. We're gonna end this thing once and for all. We? Yeah. So, how is your family involved? My family... ...is down at the bottom of a well. What? Family is the most important thing in the world. But if your whole family, you know, like... Every last one of them decided to jump down the bottom of a well, and they're all just... ...hanging on the end of a rope. How can one person be expected to pull them all back out? You can't. If you pull on that rope, and you're just gonna fall right down at the bottom of the well with the rest of them. And what's the point of that? Right, so you... ...you're the one at the top of the well with a rope, and... Yes. I thought that was obvious. Yeah, okay, yeah, I got it. Let's forget it. Let's see how smart you really are. What is this? Information. Well, what does it mean? Read it. When full the moon above shines first, the beast internal shall outward burst. One by one leads lambs to slaughter. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. And should you yourself be cursed, Armed with silver and the first. When moon is full before its wane, rend the beast that cursed you slain. No longer shall you face your blight or fear the dread of full moon's light. Yeah. 
keep reading. And if it's a bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. Perchance you'll save your cursed soul before infection takes its toll. Starting to get the picture. It's not a lot to go on. And frankly, it's shit. Why did they have to make it rhyme? I don't know. But it's all we have to go on. Hmm. Kill the werewolf that bit you, and you'll be cured. It has to be silver, has to be full moon. Seems pretty straightforward to me. If you can kill the werewolf, and that's a big if. I just want to cure Max. It's not as straightforward as you think. If you knew all this, why didn't you just kill it in the storm shelter when you had the chance? It's not so... I'm, I'm, I was... when I... Straightforward? No, yeah, it's so not... You... They're not so easy to hit. I was trying to protect you two. So what's the plan? Well, that's where I'm hoping you'll come in. Me? Yeah. Because your studies. I haven't even started. Well, you're the best option I got. I've been hunting this damn white wolf under the full moon so long I start to think it doesn't exist, you know? Maybe it doesn't matter because maybe there's another way. Whatever you believe, there's got to be some science. And you do science. Look, take some time to think about all this. I'll be back in the morning. Seen enough? I don't think I'd believe a word he just said if I hadn't... If I hadn't seen that. I believe him. You can't tell me you really trust that guy now. I didn't say that. I said I believe him. About... the werewolf stuff, not the science bit. I don't know what he wants. He's a dirty line kidnapping cop, Laura. We should be careful of anything that fucker says. Well, fuck him. He's had his chance to fix this. We're getting out of here and we're gonna fix it on our own. Hey, Laura? Yeah? I saw what happened. What I did to your eye. Yeah. Is it bad? Yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm so sorry. It wasn't you. I know it wasn't you. I know. But it was. We're gonna fix you, Max. I promise. I promise.
said, let me in there. Chris! Stop. I know they're in there. Who? The counselors that didn't show up. How'd you find out? Bobby told me. Said you scrapped an abandoned car. A while back, I, I worked out the rest. Shit. Why? Well, why'd you think, Chris? Jesus, Travis. You're still here? That's fucked up. Fucking bit one of them, Chris. What's I supposed to do? <sighs> what was that? You shot me. I'm telling Mom. Thank your lucky stars wasn't silver. What's your plan? You can't keep them here forever. I am handling it. Maybe if you'd done your job, they wouldn't have been at the camp that night. You ever think of that? If I'd have done my job, you'd all be in prison. You ever think of that? That was all Bobby and Caleb. And are you those know hikers? And that, that, that fucking journalist? Damn it, Travis. What are we going to do now? Whatever happened to, we're all in this together. Shh, man. Let's go to my office. We shouldn't talk here. Max! Uh. Max! Uh. What is it? Travis was just in the hall talking, the cop. So? With Chris Hackett. Was he here to let us out? No. He's the werewolf, Max. Chris Hackett is the one that bit you down on the storm shelter. Holy shit, that's... Who would have guessed? I mean, I guess, thinking about it, I could have... And yet you didn't. It all makes sense. That's why Chris's car was at the lodge that night. Travis was protecting him. That's why he followed us, and that's why he didn't kill the werewolf in the storm shelter, because it was his fucking brother! God, it's so obvious! If, if Chris was the one that bit me, then... Yeah, then that's our cure. That's how we fix you. Jesus, Laura, are we thinking the same thing? Tomorrow, we're getting out of here. I'm gonna get Travis's gun and kill Chris Hackett. Hey! Hey! Help her! Laura needs help! Uh, Laura? Uh, Laura, are you okay? Uh, God damn it. What the hell's going on? Laura! <gasps> Fuck. I didn't think you were really sick. Well, maybe I should consider acting as my major. <laughs> that wouldn't go that far. <laughs> we should go before he wakes yeah. up. We should grab our staff. We need silver ammo. He must have some around here. What is it? I thought I heard someone.
It's coming from behind that door. There's nobody in here. What the fuck? He makes them. What is it? Shotgun shells. He loads them with silver. That's where he was last month, hunting. Well, I guess I won't be needing this anymore. Hey. I just realized something. We're free. <laughs> no, Max. We're not free until Chris Hackett is dead. And it doesn't look like we've got much time. I know, you're right, but... Let's just take the win for now, huh? We'll celebrate when it's over. We're going straight to Hackett's quarry, and we're ending this. Tonight. The camp. Left Max at the island seemed like the best place. Left Max at the island seemed like the best place for him, surrounded by water and all. That's it. That's the story. And I'll jump in at the same time. Wait. The island? Like like our island? Like the one in the lake? Yeah, why? Because Jacob. He went back there looking for Emma, and he hasn't come back yet. Neither of them has. Oh, shit. Well, as long as they didn't go poking around where they shouldn't have, they're probably fine. Poking around where he shouldn't have is Jacob's middle name. This is very bad. Oh. After you saw me at the pool, after I shot Chris, um, I went back to the island expecting Max to be back to normal. But... Max? Ah! Hello?
Can't have been Chris. That wasn't a werewolf. It was Kaylee Hackett, Chris's daughter. Whatever I sh- Kaylee Hackett, Chris's daughter. Whatever I shot, that was no girl. Unless, I, I guess, it turned back after I shot it when I went to the island. Wait, so how come Max didn't kill you then? He tried. I got away. I need to end this. We don't have much time. Smell good, don't I? Go on, take a bite. Go on. <laughs> Dumb fucking animal. That's too, Bobby. Hey! Hey! Hey, where are you going? Hey! Hey! Nosy little rat, aren't you? Poking your nose where it doesn't belong. Don't believe everything you hear. Anyway, here we are again. Let's see what you've brought me this time, shall we? The chariot. At the reins of a chariot, we would all feel safer. Taking control, relying on determination to make our choices. Valiant, but in some cases, foolish. Many seek refuge in chariots, but perhaps in some cases, they're not as safe as we think they are. And the same question as always. Will you let me show you more?
You'll be seeing me a few more times before the night's over. I look forward to that, as long as you follow the right path, of course.